Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video is going to look at bile and we're just going to briefly discuss bile, its functions, its components and hopefully you'll have a better understanding of what bile is at the end of the video. So bile is a watery mixture of organic and inorganic compounds. The most important components of bile are phosphatidylcholine, which is otherwise known as lecithin, and bile salts, which are conjugated bile acids. The following video on from this will be looking at bile acids and bile salts. So if you don't understand that just yet, just bear with us. Watch this video and then watch the following videos after this and hopefully it should make sense. So bile, as we previously just mentioned, is a watery mixture of organic and inorganic compounds. So this bile can pass from the liver and it's produced inside the liver into the duodenum via the common bile duct or it can be stored in the gallbladder when it isn't needed immediately for digestion. So we can see here is the liver and this is where the bile is produced. It passes into the duodenum via the common bile duct or it can be moved into the gallbladder and stored in the gallbladder and when it is required for digestion it can pass through the common bile duct into the duodenum. So what are the functions of bile? The first one is to emulsify fats. This means it breaks down the fat molecules from a high surface area to uh, sorry, from a low surface area to a much higher surface area. So it breaks them down into smaller smaller droplets so that the um, enzymes can work on it. It also neutralizes the acid from the stomach. Bile is an alkaline solution and the acid in the stomach is obviously acidic, so it will in turn neutralize this stomach acid. Also, bile salts will act as bactericides and destroy the microbes in food. And finally, we're going to discuss this in a separate video, but just so I'm just going to mention it here now because I didn't want to leave it out. Bile is a root of the excretion of bilirubin, which is an important component of um, hemoglobin, but we're going to make a separate video on that. So this is everything I want to discuss today on bile. Watch the following videos on from here. They'll be looking at bile acids, bile salts, and lipid digestion and absorption. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope this video was useful.